Hello friends, uh, today uh, I'm going to do a very um, tasty appetizer and that is a samosa and out of the samosa we are going to make the samosa chart as well. Over here I have with me two potatoes that I have for boiled and diced very fine. I will garnish this for my samosa chart. I'm going to use in this half a cup of peas. Also I have my spice one foot. So for my samosa chaat which is a very popular appetizer, I have diced two potatoes over here to make the samosa. I also have one fourth teaspoon of red chili powder, one fourth teaspoon of garam masala, teaspoon of salt, 1 4 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 4 teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 4 teaspoon of red chili flakes. I'm going to use some chaat masala and some black pepper powder. Also 1 4 teaspoon of amchur. All this is a, these are available in the grocery store. 1 4 cup of green peas. And also I'm going to use in the recipe asafoetida or hing. One fourth teaspoon of asafoetida or hing which is uh, available in any grocery store. I'm going to use with my potatoes two to three green chilies and some finely chopped ginger. For my flour I'm going to use one fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour and to that I'm going to add about one tablespoon and one teaspoon or two tablespoons of oil one fourth cup of lukewarm water and one tablespoon of semolina or shuji and make a dough out of it and keep it aside. For my samosa, I'm going to use one fourth teaspoon of ajwine as well. So in a non-stick pan, I've heated a teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm going to add some shredded green chilies. about half a cup of green tea red chili flour and diced potatoes I'm going to try this for about a minute or two minutes to add one teaspoon of garam masala, red chili powder, cumin powder, coriander powder. Try this. For about five to seven minutes. The potatoes have been frying for 5 minutes and we can see that we have mashed them very small.
after about two to three more minutes the potatoes and the peas they can be the peas can be boiled from before or we can mash them gently in the pan or they can be boiled just with these potatoes with a little bit of water at a time and the amchur uh, needs to be added in this the chaat masala a bit of amchur powder just 1/4 pinch and some chaat masala and just saute it for one or two more minutes and it is ready I took I've made four parts of my dough as you can see four parts of this size round shaped and now I have just rolled the dough out with my rolling pin going to take this in half and i'm going to take one end take some water similarly the other end then just fold and seal the samosa in a like manner we take the cone in our hands like this seal the ends take the cone the end has to be sealed i'm going to take a full spoon of my filling of samosa try to push it down all the way in the like manner they should not come out and just close the top part and then take water water in my fingers and seal the edges in this shape so they should look like this similarly for the second one i just take fingers two of my fingers and apply at the ends i fold the end in this manner i make it into a cone and I just put a spoonful of my filling in there
all the way. And press it down in a light manner. You can see that the ends are well sealed and I'm going to go ahead and close it like this. So there you are. The samosas will be ready in this shape. So I drench my dough in my flour and then I go in this circular manner round and round About 5 to 6 inches in diameter is necessary. I take my fingers around the edges I'm going to cut exactly half of this put the other half aside on my tray and now I'm going to start making the samosa so here is half my dough I'm going to take a little bit of water to seal the ends fold it in half and seal the ends in a light manner once they are sealed I just make it into a cone like this take about two teaspoons push it down Pull the sides, close my envelope, this is sealed, I close the ends and so that they don't come out while frying. So friends, my dough is ready here as you can see, the perfect samosa and I have my cuisinart deep fryer ready for frying. 
I'm going to put it at 375 and once it's heated I'm going to fry these and the next step will be to make the samosa chart. For the samosa chart the ingredients are pretty much simple after we start to deep fry them and it is ready I'm going to use about one cup of yogurt two tablespoons of deli ki chaat coconut chutney coriander chutney mint chutney and green chili sauce So I have my cues in a deep fryer that is ready over here for frying and I have already placed it on a heat of about 375. It's very hot and I'm going to put the samosas for frying I filled it till maximum temperature starting from a low medium and then they'll slowly make their way up as they fry and they will puff up Wow, they are already puffing up in the oil. Leave them for about 3 to 4 minutes per side till they turn a golden brown color. Most of these gadgets and accessories are helpful for frying as you can see. Wow, so after about 10-15 minutes we can see that the samosas have fried nice and crispy and they are ready out of the deep fryer once in a while we can just turn the sides and insert it as they fry They are nice and golden brown. So friends, as you can see, the samosas have well fried, they have a beautiful texture and they are ready to make the samosa chart, which would be my second video coming up. Thank you for watching. In a pan, 
heating on high heat we are going to add about two tablespoons of oil so for the samosa chart I'm going to add in this about two tablespoons of oil also going to add my spices as it gets heated let us take you over the ingredients five to six samosas one cup of garbanzo beans and kala chana black grain one tomato two to three green chilies one onion finely chopped coriander leaves one fourth cup of yogurt a teaspoon of black salt butter tablespoon one teaspoon of chaat masala green chili sauce mint chutney coriander chutney delhi ka chaat amchur one fourth teaspoon for the spices we are also going to use cumin powder coriander powder red chili powder so we have a pan, a pan. we added some butter and we are sauteing everything for about a minute we are going to add onions we added tomatoes also some green chilies and i'm sauteing everything on medium high heat at this